I've observed thousands of home inspections and here are the top health and safety concerns all homeowners should be aware of. Hi everyone, it's Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group and the top health and safety concerns you need to be aware of on the in the home you live in right now based on being on thousands of home inspections. Number one, any exposed wiring, electrical wiring that's exposed or an older electrical panel, namely a Zinsco panel, are fire hazards. It's probably the top reason for a, your home to catch on fire is your electrical. And so you wanna make sure that you have a good sound electrical system. Old knob and tube is subject to higher insurance premiums and also higher risk of fire. Old plumbing that could break and cause a flood or damage to your property also contaminate or lower the quality of your household water should be considered. That also goes along with your sewer system and your sewer pipes because if you have a leak, you're contaminating the soils and you may not even know that exists. We see it all the time and namely in homes that were built prior to the year 2000. You also have homes built prior to 1978. They are at risk of having lead-based paint. So you might have layers and layers of paint. However, the paint under those layers have lead, it most likely have lead in them. Homes in the 70s, 60s, 50s, 40s, or older, chances are there's asbestos in the materials, whether it's the drywall or floors. In fact, I had a house built in 1964 that we had tested for asbestos and they found it in the floor, the drywall, and the paint. It was nearly everywhere and we didn't even know it. Right, and these materials start to flake over time and you have children, grandchildren, it is definitely a concern that you need to consider. Other considerations that we see pop up is anytime you have leaking a leaky roof or an older roof, it leaks and you don't know it, or a toilet that's leaking, it does cause mold. And so the discoloration and mold, it gets in the drywall or in your crawl space or in your attic. I was once at a house and we opened up the attic and they didn't know it until we had the home inspection. The attic was full of black mold. So this is a consideration for older homes that you need to take into consideration. Other considerations for health and safety is the, the busy, how, how busy is your street? What's the traffic like? So if you have kids or grandkids, you know they're playing in the street, that is a risk, right? Also that with, with heavy traffic comes heavy noise pollution. So you might not know the stress that is, that is happening to you on a daily basis based on the noise. Like this, this chronic noise and disruption does play a toll on your health and safety. Now there's more safety concerns that we, than we can go over, but what I wanna tell you is to consider your house. Look around your house, popcorn ceilings, paint, chipping and peeling paint, old flooring, old appliances, old electrical, and think about whether or not you need to replace those items now because you're deciding to stay, or consider that you could sell your home and buy something with new construction. Another health and safety that I forgot to mention that's really important are stairs. The number one reason someone, uh, an elderly person or later stage person in life, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, it's all relative, the number one reason that they're gonna go to the hospital is for because of a fall. It's because of a fall. And you know, whether it's a broken hip or a broken ankle, that tends to happen because of stairs or slipping and falling in the house. So make sure that you have the right floor plan for your future as well. Hope you got something out of this. We're here for the long haul. If you want us to come by your house and just walk through and kind of give you the pros and cons of the house and also explore what else is out there, give us a call.